Hey, welcome back to Cooking with Carl. Today we're going to do a video where we're going to follow along with Charlie Andrews on YouTube on how to make southern cornbread. So stay tuned. This video is brought to you in part by Seminole Swamp Seasoning. Views expressed on this channel don't necessarily reflect those of our sponsors. Alright, step number one is let's mix our dry ingredients. Okay? Alright, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to start out with uh, two cups of cornmeal. Okay? There we go. It's the third cup. Um, for those of you who didn't do good in fraction class, a third of a cup in percentile is 33%. So 33% plus 33% plus 33% equals 99%. 99% is good enough for a cup for me. So if you get three of these, it equals one cup. So start off with baking soda. Now a half a cup of flour. So let's see. Oh, it's sugar. <laughs> Wrong button. So we got half a cup of flour. So again, we got 33%. 33% of a cup, so we just need to go another 20%, so how about right there, bam, half a cup. Alright, uh, let's see here, um, one teaspoon of baking powder, so I got baking powder here, okay. One tablespoon, so we need half of this. This is one teaspoon. Okay, all right. And then we need one teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda. Okay. Bam, just like that. And then um, two tablespoons of sugar. So we got here. One, two. Now this isn't. This is southern. It doesn't have a lot of sugar. The northern cornbread recipe has a lot of sugar. That's usually your jiffy, your jiffy box of cornbread. That's the northern recipe uh, for cornbread. But this is southern. This is it's the kind that's not sweet. Okay. All right. Then we have uh, one and a half tablespoons of salt. Okay. One and a half tablespoons of salt. And what I'm going to use is a Seminole Swamp Seasoning. Uh, they sponsor me on this channel by sending me free seasonings. And uh, I'm very grateful for that. The stuff tastes amazing. I'm not just saying that because they're my sponsors. But I'm just telling you that I would definitely recommend this stuff. My kids like to eat this stuff in their hands without anything, without putting it on anything. They like to lick it out of their hands. It's very good. So we got uh, one and a half tablespoons of salt. Okay, let's see. One and a half. One and a half tablespoons of Seminole Swamp Seasoning. This is the uh, this is the original. They also sent me the hot version, but this is the original. I'm gonna use the hot version to make ribs. Um, hopefully by the end of this weekend. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this all together. Okay. Get all your stuff mixed in. I'm making a mess. Okay. Alright, so that is step number one. Step number two is set your oven to 400 degrees, okay? And I'm going to clean myself up a little bit. Set your oven to 400 degrees. Alright, so step number three is to mix in your wet ingredients. Alright, so I'm starting with one and a half sticks of butter. Now one tablespoon of butter, I mean one stick of butter is eight tablespoons. Okay, so that's melted 
one and a half tablespoons of butter. Then we're going to mix in two eggs. Okay, two eggs. All right. Now, uh, and then now uh, one and a quarter cups of buttermilk. Okay, one and a quarter cups of buttermilk. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix this all up. Put this stuff in the sink. Okay. Let's mix this all up. I can see that Seminole Swamp season in there. Looks so good. Okay. Now, got that mixed up. No clumps. Now, we're going to butter our pan here. Uh, he, he used a uh, cast iron skillet in the video. But I don't have one at the moment. I had to throw mine away. Um, so I'm going to use a regular baking dish here. Let's get the sides of this here. Okay. Put this away. All right. Got that. Now we're going to pour in our. Cornbread mix. Okay. Put a little one of these. Okay. Now we're going to put this in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. You really just got to do a toothpick uh, test on it. Okay. So step number four was put it in the oven for 20, 25 minutes. And so I'll let you know when it's done. All right. So here it is after coming out of the oven. Hope you can see this. All right. And um, I kind of dug into it a little bit to make sure that it was fully done. Because when I first tried it at 20 minutes, it wasn't done. And at 25, it actually was done. It's just because my dish, I don't think, is a full 10 inches. But... So now the last step to do before, um, before you eat it, you have to take a little butter and put it on top. And you gotta um, smooth it around on top, melt it on top like this. If you have a stick of butter, it's easier. Okay. Move this all around top. it everywhere okay now I got my buddy here my son and we're gonna bite into this now son would you like a middle piece you want an edge piece an edge piece an edge piece okay Let's touch you. now he doesn't like cornbread usually but he's gonna try it with me he's he's the he's the devil's advocate basically he's gonna keep he's gonna keep me honest so let's see what it really tastes like don't eat it until I eat it with you, okay? Huh? Don't eat it until I eat it with you. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Okay. I'll get you a fork. Okay, though. Here you go. Alright. And I'm going to 
going to cut me a piece about this piece right here there we go you know what buddy this piece looks better than that Let me, you, you want to try a different piece and I'll take that one you take this one all right and I'll take my fork take your fork let's get rid of let's get, get rid of this piece uh, That's one like broken apart. Yeah. Let's eat appetizing pieces. Okay, so I'm going to cut me this one here. I think I get edge pieces are the best ones. Yeah, I think so too. Oh. I can get it out of here. There we go. That's a good looking piece. Alright. Get, get on your fork. Count of three. One, two, three. Eh, that's kind of good. Kind of good, you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this guy's, um, I will say that, um, it's good, it's pretty moist, and, um, it tastes like basic southern cornbread, um, you know, it's not sweet, but I could definitely eat this with some collard greens or some mashed potatoes and some and some uh, and some uh, barbecue chicken. This is really good. And um, you can taste the Seminole Swamp in it. Gives it that extra little saltiness. It's very good. All right, guys, this is the lesson. I'll leave the link in the description below of the channel that I copied to make this video. Thank you. God bless. Have a great day.